What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, I'm gonna do a lesson for the chord progression in a minute and how you can solo over it. It's quite a simple chord progression, uh, so it's just gonna be a quick tutorial. I've done quite a few of these at this point, uh, so I'm thinking of compiling a video of maybe sort of five or six different lessons I've done at the end of videos into like one. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in that or if you just wanna watch them separately as is. I'm also giving the audio file away for free uh, for any other video makers who need music for their videos. I'm um, trying that out, so if you are interested in having that, uh, please do let me know in the description down below and so that I can do more of, uh, or I can get my actual completed tracks um, for download as well. I'm working on a lot of great new content for the channel in the coming weeks and months, uh, so please do hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with that. And if you've got any requests, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, here's the tutorial. So as I say, it's quite a simple chord progression. Uh, the key is A minor, and we're playing the one chord, the three chord, the four chord, the three chord, and then back to the one. Um, so the chords are A minor, C major, and D minor. So I'm playing just the triads. Uh, the first one I'm playing is the A minor. So I'm playing the fifth fret on the E string, which is the root, the A. And I'm actually muting the A string, but you could also play it if you really want to. Just play it differently. And then I'm playing the second fret on the uh, D string and then the 5th fret uh, G string so I'm playing those 3 notes and I'm actually palm muting so with the palm I'm muting the bottom strings and then I'm playing sort of uh, this progression here so, so it's the E string, D string, G string, D string loops and if that's a bit of a stretch you can also play it like this which sounds very similar uh, and it's the same thing except for the E of the A minor chord so it's A, E and then C but in this case the E which is here is moved to here so from the uh, D string to the A string uh, but yeah that's just a different way of playing it from the A minor it goes to the C major so it's effectively similar to that shape there. We're going up to the 8th fret, the C. And then, so it's 8th fret on the E string, 10th uh, fret on the A string, and then the 9th fret on the G string. It's the same picking progression, still muting. And then we go up 2 frets and take off this finger. So we're going for the minor shape, so we've got the uh, D minor, the D of the root note, and then we're playing 12th fret on the A string and 10th fret on the G string. So it's from this, and then back down, and then just loops, and that's it. So, as I say, this is an A minor, so uh, it's soloing with the A minor scale. Or you can solve with the A minor pentatonic, whichever you're more comfortable with, or both. But yeah, that's it. It's quite a simple one. As I say, if you want more tutorials or more in-depth tutorials, please let me know in the comment down below. Uh, I'm going to do a compilation of these videos, of these short tutorials I've done in the past, uh, into one big video. And then I do have some plans to cover soloing, um, but I think I'm going to start from the basics and work my way up uh, to the more complex techniques and scales. Uh, but yeah, I actually want to cover all grounds, so... If you want to see more of that, please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.